in the default settings uh, you need to push the pedals uh, a little bit before the motor activates and uh, after it has been activated it takes a little while before it disengages I changed acceleration response in the app from the default 40% to 100% and now the motor engages much quicker also it seems to be a bit quicker to disengage Some motors are very quick to disengage when you release the pedals, uh, but the specialized 2.1 motor has a slight delay. That can be both an advantage and a disadvantage. In this steep technical trail you need a lot of motor support, but uh, that makes the specialized motor a bit more difficult to control. Look at the back wheel. It's spinning out because the motor hasn't disengaged yet. But this kind of behavior can also be an advantage. Here is a piece of trail with a very narrow run-in, so you have to stop pedaling for a fraction of a second. The Shimano motor will disengage and quickly re-engage, so you have got the power for the climb. The specialized motor never cuts power, so you just keep going. In bumpy sections such as this one, the specialized motor is quite nice. I have to ease off the pedals for brief moments uh, every now and then to, to maintain my balance. The specialized motor will keep uh, spinning so the bike won't come to a full stop. The walk assist is uh, very good on the specialized. It's up there with the Bosch and the Shimano. It does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, there's no display on this bike so I'm using my mobile phone. For simple surfaces such as tarmac and uh, gravel, you can use all the motor power. So going up this hill in uh, about 25-26 km per hour is quite easy. It's up there with the most powerful e-bike motors. And what I really like about this motor for transport sections is the shuttle mode. Here shuttle is set to 100% and I don't have to put much power in the pedals to get the most out of the motor. That's really relaxing for commuting and transport. One thing I don't like though is that shuttle can't be set individually for each assistance level. I would prefer to have the first assistance level could be my commuting and transport level and the other two levels could be for trail riding. Then I want the shuttle on 100% for the first level and 0% on the two other levels. The Specialized 2.1 RX is a very good motor. But the power to control ratio is not among the best. I need to ease off max power a bit so it's easier to hold back the bike on technical trails. Motor behavior seems to be the same for all assistance levels. What I do like about the motor is uh, the noise level. Sure, it's a bit more noisy than the previous specialized motor. I've ridden two different 2.1 uh, RX motors. One of them was pretty quiet. The uh, motor in this uh, video is a bit more noisy, but still it's way better than most other competitors. It's a very powerful motor. It offers up to 410% amplification of the rider input. This makes the motor feel very powerful when you're not pushing hard. And it's a versatile motor. Shuttle mode makes it probably my favorite motor for transport. And the app is very good. There's a lot of adjustments, a lot of settings. So the Specialized 2.1 is a great motor and there are a lot of great motors. I like a lot of them. There is a slight difference in behavior between the motors. And when switching from one motor to another, you probably will have to adjust your riding technique a bit before it feels right.